Hello. In this video, we will learn how to set up the S100 Inverter EtherCAT Option Module. EtherCAT stands for Ethernet for Control Automation Technology and is an Ethernet-based field bus system developed by Beckhoff Automation. Here, Fieldbus is a network that enables two-way communication and real-time control in the form of multiple terminal devices connected to one communication line. In other words, it is a form in which several terminal devices are connected to one communication line. It is a network with two-way communication and real-time control. EtherCAT was developed for Ethernet protocol-based software that requires very fast information update speed and hardware cost reduction. The communication speed is 100 Mbps. The communication method uses the full duplex method, and the maximum communication distance is 100 meters. In EtherCAT communication, when the data frame transferred from the master to the slave passes through the slave, the slave receives the transmit data and at the same time transmits the received data to the corresponding data frame. In other words, EtherCAT passes one communication frame to all slaves in turn without transmitting data to each slave node in the network. When a communication frame passes through each slave, each slave reads and writes data in its own area in the frame. The communication frame goes through the last slave and then goes back and passes through all the slaves and is delivered back to the master, and high-speed data communication is performed. The EtherCAT communication option module installation is required for EtherCAT communication in S100. Before installing the communication option module, the inverter power must be turned off before proceeding. This is because if the EtherCAT communication option module is installed or removed while the power is on, both the communication module and the inverter body may be damaged. Therefore, install or remove the EtherCAT communication option module after the inverter capacitor voltage is completely discharged. The installation method is as follows. Remove the input-output cover from the S100 body. Next, remove the keypad. Fasten the enclosed brass rod to the appropriate position. Mount the S100 EtherCAT option module and fasten the screw in the corresponding position. After installing the keypad and finally the communication module cover, the installation is complete. The following describes how to set parameters for EtherCAT communication. If you want to operate the S100 inverter using the EtherCAT communication option, Set the operations group DRV mode of the keypad to a 4 field bus. Also, if you want to give the inverter frequency command using the EtherCAT communication option, set the FRQ mode to number 8 field bus. However, when connecting and using a digital loader, set the operation command in DRV group number 6 and frequency command setting in DRV group number 7. EtherCAT communication uses a protocol called CANOPEN over EtherCAT for information exchange. There is a PDO method that communicates by transmitting information synchronously and an SDO method that communicates data asynchronously. In the PDO method, Data communication is performed periodically to exchange target frequency and status information. And in the STO method, data communication for error status and parameter reading and writing is performed when there is a request. Next, set the profile for communication with EtherCAT. 
profile means a kind of communication protocol, and either CIA 402 or LS profile can be selected, and the drive parameter COM group 11 can be selected. In the case of LS profile, the user can communicate by mapping the data defined in the object dictionary of the inverter to the internal parameters arbitrarily. COM groups 31 to 38 are status-related parameters that check the inverter status, and COM groups 50 to 58 are control parameters that can control the inverter. After setting all the internal parameters, you need to save the contents. Select Yes in COM group 94 to save communication-related parameter changes. In CIA 402 profile, CIA is an abbreviation for CAN-IN automation, and only velocity mode is supported here, and it is fixed as control word, status word, VI target velocity, and VI velocity actual value. Since information is assigned to each bit, please check the relevant bit information when communicating. CIA 402 profile also needs to save the contents after setting all parameters like LS profile. Select Yes in Drive Parameter COM Group 94 to save communication-related parameter changes. The biggest difference between the LS profile and the CIA 402 profile is that the LS profile has the advantage that it can be controlled by allocating up to eight words of status and control each of the data you want, whereas the CIA 402 can be controlled through the allocated bit without any additional setting. These are our advantages. The EtherCAT option card shows the current communication status with the LED on the front. The meaning of each LED is as follows. A total of four LEDs can be displayed, and the run at the top is the LED to check the operation status of the option card. The next LED is error, so you can check the status of the option card error. If the red light is on, escape communication is bad, and if the green light is on, it indicates that the inverter has a bad communication condition. Inlink and Outlink are LEDs to check the network line connection status. In case of initial installation and test operation, XML format EDS file must be registered like can open communication. EDS is an abbreviation of electronic data sheets, which is a text file used by the upper controller tool. If the controller is an LS PLC and is installed with the latest version of our LSE XG5000, the dedicated software is installed. The EDS file for the EtherCAT option of the S100 inverter is basically downloaded together, so there is no need to register the EDS file separately. If the XML file is not registered for the upper level controller, it can be downloaded from the following LS Electric website address. As EtherCAT communication is Ethernet-based field bus communication, STP cable is used. As shown in the figure, the left port is connected to the host controller and the right port is connected to another slave if there is another slave. In order to give operation command and frequency command through EtherCAT communication, set inverter parameters as follows. To set the operation command, set the DRV group command source to a 4 or field bus. Next, to set the frequency reference method, set drive operations group frequency to 8 or field bus.
After setting the drive group, select a profile for communication. Here, I will explain how to set CIA402 profile number 0 first. If COM group 11 is set to 0, CIA402 profile is selected for the profile and COM group 94 is set to yes to save the settings to complete. After that, the communication setting is done in PLC and inverter communication setting is not done anymore. Next, let's set up the communication profile by changing it. If COM group 11 is set to 1, LS profile is set for the profile and COM group 94 is set to a yes to save the serial settings to complete. When the communication profile is changed, drive parameter in the COM group settings through COM group range 30 to 58 is changed to the state where setting is possible. In this test, we will set two status information and one control information. In drive parameter COM group 30, set the number of status information parameters. The initial value is equal to 3, so if you change the setting to a 2, you can set two parameters from drive parameter COM group at 31 to 32. Drive parameter COM group 50 sets the number of control information parameters. The initial value is 2, so if you change the setting to 1, you can set one parameter of COM group set to 51. Input the communication address of the inverter in drive parameter COM range 31 to 32, and also 51 and with the communication address is as monitors. After completing all settings, set drive parameter COM group setting 94 to a yes to complete serial parameters save function. So far, we have learned how to set the EtherCAT option module of S100. Thank you.